So the Huntington's Disease Society of America was formed almost 50 years ago by the widow of Woody Guthrie. Marjorie Guthrie saw her husband and the father of her children go through a long um, and very debilitating battle with Huntington's disease that he ultimately succumbed to in 1967. And so from that lack of resources, she was inspired to get families together and do something, to create change um, and a voice and resources for families that had nothing but each other. And that's really the, the culture that HDSA was built from, the idea of families helping families. To this day, we're a very small staff team. Our strength are our chapters and affiliates, our network of volunteers and families around the country who self-organize to fund social workers, to man support groups and often facilitate them for their peers. And it's really the, uh, the importance of families stepping up to fill a necessary void. I tell people I love answering the phone because I, sometimes it's rewarding, sometimes it's upsetting, um, but at the end of the day it's always motivating. No matter what, it's motivating. Um, it, it, in, it could be that, hey, you're doing a good job. Sometimes it's, hey, you're, you, we need to do better in this one area, and don't take that personally. We looked at, I take that as, as a challenge to do better. We need to, I'm obsessed with trying to find and create more resources for HD families. Um, they need more, they deserve more. And um, so that daily interaction, that face-to-face -face or on the phone or even an email that I didn't have as a, as a bench scientist that I have now is so incredibly motivating. Um, and it, it gets me going to work every day and I, I'll never forget who I'm working for. So our mission to improve the lives of everyone affected by Huntington's disease is really tackled by a community-wide collaboration of making sure we're providing help resources. So access to clinicians, training clinicians, resources for financial planning, um, navigating the Social Security Administration and advocating and raising their voice for so many personal and political issues that affect the barriers and access to care that they have, but then also really engaging families in the cure side of things. So helping them understand the power of clinical trials, um, giving them the hope that comes with watching pharmaceutical and biotech progress uh, as we see new treatments make it into the clinic for study. That's really inspiring to families and we want to make sure that families are participating in the clinical studies that will get us answers so those drugs can be approved and really just charting the course towards a cure and that's a lot of the support and education and then empowerment that we work on at HDSA.